Je vis à l'étranger maintenant depuis sept ans. Étant revenu aux états unis l'histoire de rendre visite, j'arrive aujourd'hui au siège de la Team Unknown. Je m'appelle Jean, membre de la Team Unknown, membre unique du volant de la France. Zell prépare ici pour la sixième génération de Pokémon. Son but, son rêve, étant de les attraper tous, ne s'arrête pas. Quant à moi, je préfère la deuxième génération de jeu. Or, argent et cristal. Ils disent par contre, que les jeux X et Y sont basés sur la terre française, ou en tout cas l'équivalence parmi le monde des Pokémon. Je ne sais pas encore à quoi m'attendre de ces jeux. Nous verrons par la suite. Zeon, welcome to America. Let's look at sixth generation news. Direct to you. The Pokémon series has been published in seven languages and enjoyed in more than 70 countries all over the world, so this Nintendo Direct is broadcast to Japan, the Americas, and Europe at the same time. And so we have arrived at today. As you can see, the Pokemon series has evolved along with new Nintendo handheld systems over history and has expanded the range of its gameplay. Now, two completely new games in the Pokemon series will be introduced to Nintendo 3DS. Take a look at the next evolution of the Pokemon world in this video. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. So you, you get it's 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 from France. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Pikachu is standing on the Eiffel Tower and shot electricity in all directions, and it zooms out to our world, which is France. Well, they've done, they've done Japan. Yep. They've done New York. Yeah, that's right. Next is France. That's where you live, Zeon. <laughs> That's right. And so I could go to the top of the Eiffel Tower to catch a Pikachu. Wait, can you actually go up to the top of the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, I've been there. Oh, yeah. man, <laughs> it's cool. Well, I, it's it's quite scary when you look over. And you actually you have to pay extra to get to the tippy top. Oh man, but you can get pretty far up just by you know. Right. And it's all stairs, and you know it's all metal. So yeah, that means that, you know, you're not like in a closed corridor or hallway. But you look underneath your feet, you know, the steps, they're, they're graded. Uh -huh. You look underneath your feet and you have 400 feet underneath, you know. You, you see you see the ground. You see the ground underneath your feet oh, that as must, you walk. That must be pretty scary. And so it takes you about 25 minutes to walk up. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> We have to look into this. But, you know, it's, it's, it's sweet. So now we're on the news page mm -hmm. of Pokemon X and Y. I'm going to slowly go up. We'll talk about each thing, Zeon. Okay. All right. This this is definitely Paris. Uh, that's like see that thing as a statue. That looks like the Chans That looks like the um, the Chateau de Versailles almost. I bet it is. Mm. Uh, no idea what that yeah, we don't know. Yeah. Mm. 
there's probably a starting town over there, so really no clue. But there's a Eiffel Tower with like two horns on it. They probably this is not final game footage. I think they showed a different one that's more pointy, just like the Eiffel Tower. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now the starters. I I really like Fennekin. That's cool. It's like yeah, fire. It's still cool. I don't know. I don't know about him, but he could probably be funny in the cartoon. The the grass one. Yeah. Like the German name for for Froki. Froxy. Froxy. <laughs> oh yeah, Froxy. Grunus. Yeah. That means um. What? So what do you that think? That means small toad. <laughs> Which one are you favoring? I'm um. At this moment. Probably favoring the fire type. Yeah, which, uh, I agree. Which is my preference for Gen 2. Oh, yeah. Um, Typhlosion. Mixed feelings about the other Gens. Yeah. Of course, but... All right, so we're going up. Let's see, what is the next bit of news? Um, The Legendaries. Okay, uh, right I, one. <laughs> uh, you you like you. that one? Okay. So the, so what we're really looking at I'm is... I'm really uh, fond of... Uh, well, on the other hand, the the rainbow horns are pretty sweet. But I'm guessing in gameplay, Eveltal is probably... So what player. we're looking at is Xerneas and Eveltal. Oh yeah, it, it is sort of a manly Pokemon. And this uh, this other one is sort of a feminine Pokemon. Mm. And if you think about it, the chromosomes X and Y... They almost... X uh, is feminine... Y is masculine. Not necessarily. See, like, if you're, well, a bo if you're a boy, you're supposed to get Pokemon X and Y, but if you're a girl, you're supposed to get two copies of Pokemon X. <laughs> <laughs> I, get what, I get what you did there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, I also heard there's, like, um, there's some connections we already can see uh, in, like, mythology, possibly Greek mythology. Hmm. Um, something about a deer being the god or something of... I, I don't really remember what was up, but it's probably going to be on Bilbopedia any any day now. Um, <laughs> so by the time you're watching this, it's probably up there. Just look it up. It'll be cool. Uh, oh! Uh, what's your favorite evolution? Of? What's your, what's your, what's your favorite evolution? Oh, evolution. Um, probably Umbreon or, what's the, uh, Umbreon or, um, the, the two, uh, the two evolutions that were introduced with, um, Sinnoh? With, uh, no, with Gen 2. So Umbreon or Espeon, you mean? Yeah, Umbreon or Espeon. Okay, so pretty that's pretty much yeah. that. Those are your favorites. Yeah. The the main starters of Pokemon Coliseum. Yeah. Oh yeah. Close your eyes. Okay. Okay. Open your eyes. Okay. A new Pokemon has appeared. Okay, that's just scary. I know. I it's kind of scary. It's called Sylveon. I call that the Shining Pokemon. The one that makes you want to run away. Shining? Do you think it's light type? What type do you think it is? Probably looks light type. Let me read. I don't... Um... Probably looks like, um... I don't know, it's based in France, right? Yeah, uh, it is so it's based I'm in France. Very well placed here to give you my input. Um... I'd call that the chic type. <laughs> the chic type? Yeah. Or the very French cliche type. Uh -huh. why, <laughs> the, why is that the exactly? Pink and the ribbons. Pink and ribbons, okay. Or the fashion type, I don't know. Okay. But, um, that's not really, that's not very representative of my... Um, Country. Uh, no, it, uh, of my admiration for Pokemon. Oh, yeah. It looks a lot like Victini, honestly. It's, yeah. uh, it doesn't fit with the other ones. Yeah. Artistically, but still, it's an evolution, an evolution. When I was younger, I, I, I had a, I had a preference for these softer type Pokemon's, but uh, now that I'm older, I think I'm more fond of the aggressive types, like Evadel, like uh, Evadel. Yeah. 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 So Sylveon, mm. 
I, I'm just I'm mostly curious about the type. Uh, it seems to be a this forest. Is, this is uh, this is um, interesting. You have nafali here, which um, 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 nafali um, and naf or um, na, uh, nafo mm -hmm. is a woman, like a nymph who has a sexual obsession. Oh, so a nymph. Yeah, nymph. Oh, okay. much. I, I, that's that's interesting. That is interesting. Very interesting. And let's uh, see and, how this and, develops. And inappropriate. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Which is probably where they're going with the X and Y. I won't argue with that, but you think you think it like black and white were were yeah were about like and look contrast. At, look at the this German is... name Feel Feelinara. Okay. Um. That seems inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you know? Do you know? Uh, I know do, I, you don't. I'm just guessing, um, based uh, on my basic knowledge of German. Um, okay, I wouldn't imagine that Pokemon would. Probably maybe, seems maybe, better. Maybe they're getting bored at Nintendo. You mean Game Freak? Game Freak. That's. But um, I think the theme here is going to be um, masculinity versus femininity. Right, right. Which is the whole. Um, and France is very, very segregational in the sense where women are put to one side and men are on the other. And there's a very plain distinction between the two in, in society, whether it be, whether it be education or, or work or, um, which is something that they have to, they, they have room for improvement in. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying this game will be bad. I'm looking forward to playing. But, you know, and then again, I grew up with red and yellow and blue, so... Nostalgia. Yeah, and nostalgia has hit me, and I'm not quite sure. Um, we'll have to see. Oh, yeah. But the 3D could be interesting in some sense where I've always anticipated a 3D Pokemon Combat on handheld, a la Colise uh, Pokemon Stadium. Um, so if they can pull off a, another Pokemon Stadium type game um, that would be awesome and at the same time keep the that authentic Pokemon uh, handheld gameplay um, yeah well we'll just have to see what we'll happens see in October and I'll keep you updated with new bits of yes. news mm -hmm. hey look at here's here's the illustration of nostalgia I do like Leafeon quite well quite quite a lot. Which gen is that again? That's Generation 4. They okay. didn't have any new ones in Generation 5. Okay. They didn't have any in Generation 3. They had them in 2. They had them in 1. Generation 4 is Diamond Pearl. Yeah, that's right. So we probably can't, we probably won't expect uh, any new evolutions until Generation 8. You know what would be cool is if they remade a game uh -huh. based on the original graphics uh, like they do with Harkold and Soul Silver, but extended that to the entire Pokemon world, and not just eliminating the game to one region. I've always wished for that. So go back to crappy graphics, but make it so you can go to all the regions. Exactly. And that, that would be something. That would be phenomenal. And maybe, as a fan game, that would be possible. If I bet. Could. I bet if they. I bet they could do that. Yeah. We'll have to see what happens in the fandom. Awesome. I, I still have my Eevee from Pokemon XD. Maybe just for the heck of it. Well, he, he has options right now. All right. So I believe that's it. What about the Global Link? Is that Global there? Link, uh, I don't know. You can look at it if you want. But that's pretty much it.